This is a rather impressive planetary nebula called the Cat Eye Nebula. I was completely deaf before, well, what? Before I was 18 months old. Even if through a medium sized telescope, you probably won't see the bluish color. She was two at the time uh, when we found out that Elena had hearing loss. Kind of fear that I would have a child that would go through life without hearing or without being able to know what my voice sound like, what his voice sound like, what the car driving past me sound like. Children who are deaf and hard of hearing typically have a difficult time learning to read or write if they don't have access to sound. But using hearing technology and being involved in early intensive intervention experiences helps to train their brain to attach meaning to sound. Can I have a bowl, please? When Brady was first diagnosed being profoundly deaf, I wanted to see all of our options, and I think we knew that we wanted him to use listening and spoken language. Can you put the bowls together? Good. And let's put the bowls back in the picnic basket. There's so much more to the listening and spoken language approach than simply putting on hearing aids or cochlear implants. It's 10% hardware, their hearing instruments, and 90% software, the family's programming of listening and spoken language into every aspect of their daily life. We go from helping the families with wearing the hearing technology, stimulating their child's listening and spoken language skills, to seeing this child just blossom and the doors open. We didn't want to limit her in any way. The Gateway School gave us hope that she could succeed and communicate. I just feel so fortunate that we were able to find out about Brady's hearing loss so early on because we were able to connect him to the right therapist and get him in the hearing and speech agencies program at such an early age. His teacher is amazing, his therapy is amazing, he has OT, PT, and it's everything in one area. I don't have to worry about driving him all around town, which I was doing before. All right, let's count those buttons. One, two, three, five. We have every right. reason to believe that if children receive early, appropriate specialized education experiences, that they will learn spoken language well enough to achieve on grade level, go to college, or other such post-secondary school experiences, and become independent productive citizens. This year I got accepted into an arts high school. Oh, I really enjoy painting. It feels like a very natural thing to do. She's playing the piano and singing and constantly doing cartwheels through the house. <laughs> I could say, hey Ashton, put this in the trash, and he go put it in the trash, or Ashton, bring me my phone, he can bring me my phone, so I love that he can do all these things now. It's amazing to see these children grow with us and with their families. He loves to listen, he loves to read books, and he loves to speak. He is so happy, and that's really what it comes down to. Everything is possible with hearing technology and specialized early intervention.